Oh, that's a familiar startup sound. This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore. We kind of realize that. Hello everyone, it's Armor with a We're going back to the mansion of Resident Evil today. But wait, we're not going to the mansion for the Jill run. This is the director's cut of Resident Evil! That's right, we're playing the director's cut of the original game. So yeah, this is kind of a left field for us to do this. Here's config, here's sound, if I... Well, we'll go config first. You got your forward, your back, your left turn, right turn, I'll explain those a little bit. R1 is to get ready, square to run, and X is the action button. The sound... Well, you kind of know. So yeah. I have to admit that this is a post commentary because the original kind of got messed up badly. So here's a redo. I'll shove the cutscene. Oh, and we're picking Chris, by the way. We'll do Jill after the RE run. The HD, HD run. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of our mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Chris Renfield. Jill Valentine.
Bowl. They have escaped into the mansion where they thought it was safe. Yet... I don't know what happened. Barry! Where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... No. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Take care. So yeah, interesting opening cutscene. By the way, when they showed Chris Redfield, they overlapped image from the opening onto him. During the original, he actually went and he actually was smoking. He actually blocked that with that scene. And here's tank controls. Notice if I go hold left or hold right, I turn left and right, forward, backwards, like driving a tank. Have you seen Nia Jones in The Last Crusade when the guy falls and the tank starts turning because of the way he fell on the lever? That's kind of how it works. So... Think of like your tank turret turning left, right, forward, backward, like that. So, so you're going to turn left, and I'll hold left, I'll turn right and hold right. That's how it works. So yeah. People do hate tank controls, people love them. But yeah, it's not that bad if you get used to it, but it's an awkward control scheme that was changed later on. As you can see when I played the... Next version, I'm going to equip the knife now. R1 to ready, and X to stab. Instead of holding L1 and R1 and using that to fire, it's now R1 square and X. Square is just your run button, X just examines. Very simple items. And here we have the emblem, which we're not going to take yet. Probably wouldn't be a good idea to take it just yet, especially when, when we need it. It's so close already. So yeah, not too much of a worry. Let's go over here. There is no quick turn. Move it, move it, move it. Get out, get out, get away, get away, get away. Now you move. Wesker? Jill? What happened to Jill and Wesker? I don't know. Will you tell me what happened to Wesker? I mean, to Jill and Wesker. Yeah, we're taking the Beretta. It's not a handgun now, it's a Beretta, actually. They actually named the guns in this one. It was PS1 era, you could do that. Here the map, you actually had to choose the floor of the mansion. Interesting that they chose that for the look. Here's the current layout that we've got. Here's the file. File 1 and file 2, which I can't do a thing with. I mean, the five buttons, and there's nothing. Anything back here? Nope, nothing. There's no passage or anything back here. Let's see. At least you can grab the ink ribbons. And there is a typewriter here. There's actually a typewriter in this room instead of in the kitchen. 
Now let's see, where can we go? See, this door was unlocked last time. It might even have the map. Let's see, last time we pushed this into place. Um, I can't get over it. What the? Okay, I can push, but I can't get over it. And I can't get into that room now. Reset! Back in. Okay, this puzzle is... Why is it? Of course, I get stuck right out on the thing. I can't climb over for some reason. Well, I guess I'm going to reset again. Meanwhile, a woman drawing water. I didn't show that text last time in the HD version, but it's basically the same thing. What am I doing wrong? I, I'm gonna go back in and see if I can move it out in something. Cause there has to be a way. This isn't too hard to do. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right, this. I'm trying to get the same reaction when I first did this, so... Bear with me, but yeah, that's what we weren't doing. Cause don't forget, my screen's a lot darker. And we're just testing out to see if I can climb this, and apparently I can. I just got moved to the right spot, but being being me, I forgot one important detail. Yeah. So I had to go and push us around real quick. Pushing. Push again. And there we go. Easily done. Okay. Come on. And we go up here. And you can see a map hanging in there, which we're trying to get to. And there's your map. Quite easily done, right? see we take a look at the map you can see it's really very different now so yeah so we're gonna go back here and hmm, what's back here anything good Well, more saves. That's always good. I mean, more savings. Good for me. Did we miss anything? Oh, he comes alive! Darn it! G g kick him! Yeah, he doesn't come around the corner and surprise you. He activates when you get close to his head. He's easily dodgeable. Unfortunately, me being me. I should say I am kind of running this semi-blind. But you can tell because the HD version is just a remake of this one. You can carry a lot of knowledge over. Like that same door is locked with the same key. So let's go in here real quick. Let's see what's down in this hall. That is still locked. That's still a key puzzle we have to solve because there's a key behind that well the grandfather clock let's go down here like we did last game oh hi um yeah let's see how easy much easier it is to take you out let's go down here and get some room to run them 
Up, two, three, four, and he drops. But he's not down yet. Honestly, I'm going to take this guy out instead of parading around the room. You can do whatever you please. And that right there should drop him. Yep, he's dropped. Let's see, Kenneth, what do you have on you? Nothing there. Poor Kenneth, he's done. Ooh! Yep, a clip. They're not called magazines in this game, and there is a difference between the two of them. I'm not going to go into the full debate about it, but note that the, if you do look it up and do look at enough gun stuff, that yeah, there is a difference. So yeah. Nothing there. See anything here? Nope. And instead of a door, this is a window. Which has confused me a little bit because I'm thinking it's a, it's like wait that looks like a door according to me because it's a little darker so I don't I can't tell the window frame so I look at the map and we can see here that yeah not a through way so yeah we can't do anything here let's check the other doors. Locks from the inside. Locked. Sword key. Locks from the inside. So a lot of the rooms here, we can't do any anything even with, so it was just for the ammo. It's probably going to help us a little bit. We're gonna keep go. So now we're gonna go back and see what we can do. I think we go up to the second floor now. I think we can do something up top, maybe. So there isn't many other places to go, and we can't take the other way up because the other way doesn't exist in this version. But let's check this door. Armor key. Wasn't that a different key in the in the HD version? Like I said, there's a lot of differences. So if you want to play Spot the Difference, go ahead! So yep, we're going to go in this. Around this thing. Oh, hi. Let's see, I'll try to take this little guy out and I'll leave that guy to run around. And there we go, take him down. Come on, follow me. Come on, keep following. Come on. Come on. And now that he's over here, I'm going to take off and go running and push that statue. Come on. Get in position. Got to be right in the right position and push. This will get us the same item as it did in the original version. One of the two gemstones, and you can see the clipping of the statue and the body. Ah, uh, PS1 graphics. Wee! We'll get that later. Also, do not worry about crimson heads. They do not exist. Kill as you see fit. Run. Be free. Don't worry about burning stuff. This room does not sound friendly. 
And yeah, this is a room that we took a while to get to last time. I believe it took us two episodes to get to this hallway. At least. This time it only took us one. Come on. Three zombies, and I can't really run around this corner, so I gotta take all these guys out. I only got, let's see, 24 shots left. Yeah, I hope I don't waste them all, because I do kind of need them. And that's the thing about the old games. I think I used up a few that I shouldn't have there, if I remember correctly. Take these guys out, run. This is a hall. Like I said, you want to make sure you take out everything, because this hall can be nasty. And it is, because those guys are going to get up. At least a couple of them will. Backing up, getting away, getting some distance, and firing a few more times. Okay, that one sounds good. I think there's another one in the hall. And yeah, unlike the... The HD version, we can't go down steps all the time. Like the main hall, we used to go right, be able to go up and down without a problem. Not here. There are steps that we cannot go up and down without doing an action because it has to load. It was actually quite interesting for this being a PS1 game that they actually did that instead of a loading screen. That whenever I hit one of these X to go to a new screen, this is actually the loading screen for the game. Is this. Having a short loading screen? I admit, that isn't too bad for its time. Ah, da, 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 da. Ooh, that's not good. Both of them not good, and I got bit. Come on, get off me. Thank you. Can we get around the other guy and not get bit while I got stuck behind the stairs? No, I'm in trouble. Now, if you look at our situation, you can see that we're in danger. We're about to die. I have one first aid spray. We use it. We only have six shots. Can I at least take one of them out? Okay. Now, I'm going to do something that's a little bit of a mistake. What's the problem? I'm using the knife. The knife in Resident Evil 1 is deplorable. As you can see, it's hard to hit. And I'm just getting bit repeatedly right now. That's the problem. This is why you should never use a knife unless you're a real pro and you're doing a knife-only run. That's a real test of skill. I'm not that skilled. So I'm going to retreat and get into this room. Hopefully I can get some healing. You must be from the Bravo team. Yes, I'm Rebecca. Rebecca Chambers. I'm a newcomer. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Well, I'm really sorry. Are you all right? Yes. I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha team. Are you the only person here from the Bravo team? Well... Because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh... I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. Yes, sir. But it's strange. I serviced the helicopter recently, but something went wrong with the engine. It was such a short flight. So yeah, Rebecca's here. She's not going to heal us, unfortunately. But we can grab some more ammo. Is there any health in this? Because I'm going to need it. And there is no... Well, we have no healing, but we got ammo, so we're in these position. I'm gonna probably end up saving in a sec. If everybody is... 
Yeah, I'm gonna see if there's any health items in the room, and then we're gonna say... Ooh, a key! Hey, look! We got a key already! A mansion key! Let's see what key it is, and then we'll save an end, because there's nothing in here, and I gotta hope I can survive. This is not gonna be easy. No, I wanna check the item first. Check. A carving of a sword. It's a sword key! Yes! So yeah, I'm gonna save an end. Save your progress with this, so you use the rink ribbon. Yes, I will. Save it in slot one. We're using a PS1 memory card and a PS3, because this is a digital download, so yeah. Go over save my practice file to make sure this game works and download correctly, and I'm getting the episode here.